it's Arit here. Welcome back to another video on the Estatino Artist channel. Today I have another Camtasia tutorial for you and this time I'm going to show you how to integrate your video with your PowerPoint presentation so you get something that looks like this. So I'm just going to play the video on that site and we'll need your product or service. You want to cut out the page so that as soon so notice simple. how when you hear them so notice how the video here is directly embedded within the PowerPoint presentation. I'm going to show you how to do this using Camtasia and the PowerPoint add-in. All you need to do first is open up your PowerPoint presentation and make sure you've designed it in a way where you leave a space for your camera. So that can either be you know, on the side over here, or maybe in the bottom, wherever you want, you are thinking to place your camera or the footage of you speaking, just make sure there's a space for that. So I just have kind of uh, an example PowerPoint that I put together here. And what you're going to do to create something like this is go to add-ins and you're going to see something that looks like this, like a little record panel. Now, when you're installing Camtasia, it will automatically, or it should automatically, install this add-in within PowerPoint. But if for whatever reason you don't see it in here, what you need to do is you'll need to enable this Camtasia add-in integration. So you'll need to go to File, and then Options, and then under Add-ins, what you want to do is, I mean, you can see here that the Camtasia add-in is enabled, but let's say you didn't see anything here. What you need to do with this manage um, dropdown is click on or go to disabled items. And then when you hit go, it's going to pull up any disabled add-ins that aren't already enabled. So you should see it pull up here. And then all you need to do is just is click on disabled items. And then when you hit go, you should see the Camtasia add-in pop up in this little box here. So if you do see that, you're gonna click on it and then click on enable, and that should allow you to then see this panel that I'm showing you right here. So that's the first step. Next step is how do you record this and how does it look like when you're pulling it into Camtasia? So let's go through what these options mean. So record's pretty self-explanatory and you'll see these other little panels here. So this is for your mic. If you click on, on it, it'll disable the microphone. This is just basically to enable or disable the microphone. So if you're going to be on camera and speaking, then you definitely want to have both your mic and your camera actually clicked on, so enabled. So you should see it uh, highlighted like so. If you want to see a preview of yourself and what you'll look like with the webcam, this is where you can see that. It's called the, cam the show camera preview. So by clicking on that, I'm just going to close that little tip. You can see, you can see me. So this is the preview that will come up when you are doing your presentation, you're going through your presentation and you're speaking on camera. So if everything looks good, you know, fix your hair, make sure you all look good. Um, then you can click out of that preview and to just make sure that you have the right settings. I would recommend first clicking on this little panel here and making sure that your audio source is set to the right microphone. So make sure it's to the right one. And also your camera is set to the right camera. Uh, so we have, we're using an external USB webcam. So sometimes it defaults to the laptop webcam, which we don't want. So make sure you, you can click on camera setup and then choose the Make sure it's on the right webcam here, and if everything's all good to go, I usually leave the dimensions at 1920 by 1080, then you can click on OK. So make sure you have this box, record audio, and this box, record from camera checked. And also you want to make sure that it says the edit in Camtasia when finished. Make sure that box is checked as well, because once you're done the recording, it's going to pull the footage from the webcam as well as the actual slides, the PowerPoint presentation slides directly into Camtasia so that you're ready to edit it. 
So that's all the, the things that you need to check, or at least that's what I look for. If you want, there's um, additional options here where you can include a watermark and kind of play around with some other things here. But that's, we'll just X out of that for now, or just cancel rather. So once you're ready to record, I'm gonna hit record here. And then you'll see this little box popping up on the bottom right corner. It's gonna say click to begin recording. So when you hit that, it uh, will do a little initializing camera thing. And then once that's out of the way, you are actually recording your presentation. So you can start speaking to the camera and I'm using the keys on my keyboard right now to go through the different slides. So you can speak about point number two, for example, and then once you're done, make sure you're looking at the webcam because it is actually recording. And then when you're done speaking about point number two, go to the next one. And then when you're actually done your presentation, you're gonna hit escape on the keyboard and then it's gonna ask you, what would you like to do? Stop recording or continue recording. I'm going to hit stop because I'm done the recording. And then it's gonna ask you to save the recording file. So this is the Camtasia recording file. Uh, I'm just gonna save it on my desktop and overwrite that. And then you should see this box here that says, do you wanna produce your recording? Meaning, do you want to just uh, produce the actual video? You don't, this is something that you would choose if you don't need to do any further editing. But if you wanna edit the recording, so let's say you made some mistakes while speaking and you do want to edit the actual footage of yourself speaking, whatever points you were talking about in the slide, then you'll wanna select edit recording. So I'm just gonna click OK to show you what that looks like. And then when it's, uh, when it's done and it gets pulled into Camtasia, it's going to give you the, I have two recordings here just because I'm recording this video for you guys right now, but all you'll see here is that it'll open up Camtasia and you'll see your media file here ready to go. So this is the, the title of the presentation, the PowerPoint presentation will be here and you just need to click and drag it onto your timeline. And then you can see that it's pulled the footage from the webcam. So I can click and drag that into place. So let's just say I want myself right here. All right. And, um, and you know, we might want to do a little bit of color correction to that. That's in a separate tutorial that we have on the channel. So I'll link to that tutorial as well. Uh, and also you might've seen in the example that my, my footage was actually in the shape of a circle rather than a rectangle. So I'll also link to a separate tutorial on how to do the circle footage so you can change up the size of it. But I just, for this purpose of this tutorial, I wanna show you how to place it and how to render your video at the end. So all of these little, I'm just gonna zoom in here, all these little um, blue triangles that you see are actually, um, telling you when a new slide is on. So you can see here, whenever we switch to a slide, it has a little blue triangle marker on the footage here. So this track is just the PowerPoint presentation and this is just the footage of you speaking. So super easy from here, you know, you can just kind of edit your video footage if you want to, let's say you made a mistake. So you can, as normal, you know, split something and then remove the, the footage from that. And then once you're done, um, because it's going to be playing, you know, you can see here recording. And then when you're done speaking about point number two, go to the next one. And then when you're actually done your presentation, so this is just pretending that you're actually speaking about your PowerPoint. When you're done, then you can click on, you can go to share and actually render the video itself to finish off your presentation. I usually like to render at um, the MP4 only up to 1080p. And then when you click next, I don't wanna do it now because I don't wanna actually render the video, but when you click next, you can produce the video into an MP4 file and select where you want it to save. 
So that is how you use the Camtasia PowerPoint add-in to create beautiful videos like this one where you're actually speaking. They're very professional, sleek looking videos where you're speaking within the slide, embedded within the slide, and you can render that, produce it as a video for your YouTube channel or your website or whatever you're using for. If you found this video helpful, guys, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel for more good stuff coming your way. As mentioned, I'll link to those other Camtasia tutorials that I mentioned in the description, so make sure you check that out to just up the quality even more and to get to know other parts of Camtasia so that you can produce a polished video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.